You're live. There we go. Hello. Testing, testing. Woo! Happy Thursday. How we doing, everybody? Can we hear me? Can we see me? How we feeling? We feeling good? Oh. We're doing it. Welcome to part one of the final case of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Turnabout goodbyes. I know that there was like an added fifth case or something, right? For the remake, whatever. But for all intents and purposes, the last case. Um, case four, if you will. Part one, because I know we're not going to be able to do this whole thing in one stream. And that's okay. I'd rather we pace ourselves. I don't want to keep making <laughs> six hour streams for everybody. Um, I'm a little concerned based on the artwork uh, for the case. Edgeworth seems to be having some kind of headache. I just really hope he's not the victim. Um, the super secret fifth case that was added to the, D the, D to the DS release. Okay, cool. Um, if these, if these get a lot of love, we'll definitely do more, including that extra case. Um, but yeah, the plan is to do at least half of it tonight, and then we're finishing up on Monday before we start spooky season, and then once the Halloween fall scary season is done, if we keep showing Phoenix Wright a lot of love and the channel a lot of love, um, maybe we'll do Phoenix Wright 2, because I have it, I have the trilogy. Um, but yeah, make sure that you're, uh, hitting that like button, subscribe if you haven't, make sure you're ringing the bell, checking the settings, set them to all, blah, 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 all them YouTube words, consider donating if you can, um, here at thethirdbuild.com, we can also pick up some merch, or becoming a member, you can use some beautiful little custom bill emojis, and you help me pick games, shout out to the channel members, spam those beautiful custom emojis if you got them, show them off for the others, um, the members is how Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney popped into my radar. Um, I tried playing it in middle school and gave up because I was tired of proving who the murderer was, even though I knew. I'm like, I remember being like maybe 12 and I'm like, I solved it. Can we move on? So replaying this and getting to fully experience it um, has been really fun. Um, we did... Uh, we, we avenged um, Mia's murder, F in the chat for Mia Faye, and then we uh, finished up the, the Samurai, Turnabout Samurai case, which was very strange and a lot of fun, um, especially when uh, a, a certain someone started going from prosecuting to defending with us, that little, that little sneaky little prosecutee. Um, so yeah, that's as far as I, I feel like the story really went is Edgeworth started helping us and it was a big, uh, it was the Wexler McGill moment. We all needed an anime. Um, but yeah, um, get, get situated, get cozy. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you again to the channel members who put this lovely game on my radar. It's been a lot of fun and I hope, uh, we keep getting more love. I'd love to do part two in the future. A hey, bookworm, book worm, worm, bookworm of the fandoms rooting for Phoenix Wright and Edgeworth to kiss. Go, Bill. Yeah, I mean, who's to say? I I don't know if it's true, but maybe if we get a hundred new members, maybe they'll kiss. Who knows? Maybe if we crowdfund to a certain point, donations, new members. Maybe they'll kiss. I'm very team they better kiss. Y'all messed with me last time. I'm... They've also been alluding to Phoenix and Miles having, like, history. So I'm hoping we get more of that. Um, Sorry, fake fan. You spelled Wedgeworth wrong? No, I'm <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've been playing Phoenix right since 95. Um... <laughs> if we get a hundred new members, I'll draw them kissing. <laughs> if we get a hundred new members, I'll learn to draw and draw them kissing. That is something like if I ever had like the downtime, I'd love to learn how to draw. I've always wanted to, and then I hate everything I draw, so I give up really easily. 
Um, I have drawn them, kids. Well, stop bragging. Stop bragging. Some of us can't draw, so we can't quite picture them kissing. Maybe, maybe by this time next week, I'll know what it looks like when they kiss. Um, but yeah, click the thing, smash the like. We've stalled long enough. Thank you again, Bookworm, for the uh, $5 donation. And um, if we get 100 new members, I'll animate them kissing. I I wonder when that, if if that'll, I, I won't say it like it's inevitability. That's a lot of pressure on other people. I wonder if there'll ever be a bill, a third bill uh, animated. Bookworm, thank you for also becoming a member. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Welcome to the Pro Gamers. Um, smash and send those beautiful little custom bill emojis. And um, go when you get the time. Run to the community tab. Um, I just put up a please help me find scary games for Halloween season. But thank you so much for becoming a new member. That really goes a long way to paying uh, for games, paying off equipment. And if there's something left over, a little bit of bills, bills. Um... Because there's another new release that I've had my eye on for a while. And it's going to cost money. So thank you. Um, I'm very excited to play Lies of P in a couple of weeks. Um, watch the anime bloopers. Someone said that online and I think they were confused by my tweet. Um, I'm hoping to get some videos up for like Labor Day weekend and stuff. And just videos in general. But I was, like, starting my adventures with Superman and playing Phoenix Wright in the same week was the best and worst thing I've ever done. And then it was the, the Grunkle Stan gif of, like, darn beautiful men. JoJo, thank you for becoming a member. Holy crap. Thank you. Smash those beautiful custom emojis and remember to check out the community tab to help me pick scary games for the scary season. Thank you, both of you. Am I saying it right, JoJo, or is it Jizo? Jizo, because there's zeros. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I super appreciate that. Thank you, both of you. Um, 98 to go. <laughs> Should I put it on screen? 98 more new members to go and they'll kiss. We've also gotten several pledges to draw them. Let's keep this thing going, everybody. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, Dollop is, uh, waiting for that first scene before they clean up their room. Okay. Thank you again, Jojo and Fanworm. Hey, Bookworm. I even said your name wrong. That was so rude of me. Thank you for gifting five memberships. Holy crap. Look at them all getting grabbed. I don't even know how that works, but thank you. That's seven. 93 <laughs> to go. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But thank you for gifting five subs. That's super kind. Um, Keep, uh, keep considering joining if you want to join. That's... Holy crap. I think that's the most we've gotten in a single stream ever. Um, another free membership. Yeah, it, I have to take note of how many gifted memberships there are. Cause there was like a random day where it's like, you lost four members. And I'm like, oh no, am I doing something bad? And I remembered, oh, the, uh, the gifting mechanic probably ran out. It's not very clear with the analytics and it's like, I shouldn't be checking that much anyway. Cause numbers break my self esteem, but I also need to like track them to see oh what what are people liking so it's like it's on me for having thin skin but youtube isn't nice hello it's been what 15 years about that yes 15 years is a long time to wait you can't imagine how much i've suffered i forgot that these just go you've suffered but now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Okay. Well, and a happy new- No! No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He would never. Chad, is this real? No, he didn't. I thought he was going to be like a witness or something based off of the art.
No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. It's not spoilers. It showed the art once I finished the previous chapter. That's why I used it in the thumbnail. Hey, guys, number three is case four. It's confusing. And I'm looking at him holding his head like he's got a headache. And I'm like, oh, he must have to, like, testify against somebody or something. Because, like, the scary man looks like his dad. Evil Edgeworth, you take that back. No, you're not going to say anything bad about, about Edgeworth unless you're donating or you're a member. Those are the rules. Oh, I'll play this game anymore. <laughs> if he's going to be a bad boy, oh no. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Freaking, I'll, I'll rig the whole case myself. I'm going to Saul Goodman this shit. He's getting out scot-free. I also feel bad. I don't think I have a dedicated voice to Maya. Uh, hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good water... Why are we talking about waterfalls right now? What app? What app? What happened to my boyfriend? Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need to throw myself out of a waterfall after watching what happened to Edgeworth in the intro. He's not evil, just misunderstood. Shush. Whoa, excuse me. My tummy hurts, and now I'm getting all burpy and gassy. I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing uh, under the rushing spring waters. Uh, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gourd Lake is pretty close. Something tells me we shouldn't go there, right? They were on like a little boat. Would would my boyfriend holding? The murder weapon was clearly framed. The gun is sentient. It's anime. The gun was possessed by a ghost. I solved it. Me is the criminal. <laughs> Which would be equally as devastating. But whatever. <laughs> oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the brakes. Kid, couldn't you take a cold shower or something? Good idea. So much for rushing spring waters. Uh, next on the nose... A large, unidentified animal is sighted at Gord Lake. It was your mother. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. Gordy. That's my favorite Squishmallow. In, a tip of, in the tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. We also don't want to be, uh... We don't want to be associated with the Twilight joke. <laughs> damn, the lag must be kind of rough. I just got all the damn bill. Wow. <laughs> Ugh, boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Me? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure? Like a drip, drip, drip that'll never stop? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them... Phoenix Wright. Good idea, Nick. Apparently, Fey Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage, the Cowardly Dog. <sighs> if I press this button one more time, his heart's going to snap in half. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections, as well as the way that he would brood when a specific defense attorney would show up. 
the long eye contact they would hold has been written about endlessly. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? F in the chat for Phoenix Wright's heart. Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes! Uh, Maya? The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a... Murder? What? When? Where? Whom? How? how why? I, I I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Ah, shit. I need someone to talk to. Phoenix needs someone to talk to. I, I Detention center? He better have a really good explanation. Like he said something mean about me. And he defended me in the name of true love. Or the gun was possessed. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I should probably unpin my pinned message. That's getting in the way. There we go. Click all the buttons. Like, subscribe, share, comment, become a member, donate. You get it. Links in the description. That's all the pinned comment was. Okay. Guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Don't. Front-facing Edgeworth, what have you done? Ah! Hello? Come back here. Hey, Edgeworth. Thank you. Hey, Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were in here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen angel, attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well? Why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth? We don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want... I didn't want you to see me... Like this. Not like this! Yes! We need to get him out of here. There's a glass barrier between them and now they can't kiss. I don't want to see you like this either. Believe me. I want to be able to help you. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? it duh! We're going to help you, that's what. D ding Help me. Help me, you. Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out, run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. I can't hold your hand through every encounter we have. I feel like this isn't the right time to add sexual tension between them. I just, I'm upset. And it's a habit. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake is... Oh, the lake is a long way from your offices and the courthouse. Why were you down there? Hmm. I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth, you... you didn't really... Uh, Gordy. Please tell me he was hunting for the Loch Ness Monster and the Loch Ness Monster killed somebody. Huh? I went to see... Gordy. Bookworm, thank you for gifting another member. Holy crap. 
Thank you. I still don't understand what it, what that does, but yay. Someone grabbed it. I'm getting, I'm getting notifications. <laughs> These are so confusing. <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Gordy? What's that? I'll, I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Do I show him my badge? I guess I can go to Gord Lake. Yeah. I don't want to leave him in his time of need. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I love this park. Capital T. That's what I'm going to do. We need we need a, at least a million subscribers on both channels and the views that would come with it. And I'm going to take that money. I'm going to buy a park and name it this, capital T, this park. That was a stupid joke. I can see some I can see some police walking around in there questioning people probably. Probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? <laughs> God damn it. Well, pal, that's enough. There's enough of us here. Anyone found any ting? Uh, sorry, sir, nothing. Idiote, the trio's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But, 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 sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir, he's the one who- Shut up. Just you try saying that again. Oh, gumshoe. Thanks, buddy. I'll I'll make sure you're I'll make you sorry if you do. So just just get out of my fosse, pal. Uh, yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruit pay. Eh. Yeah. Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Uh, well, yeah, I, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help, eh? Hey. Ask me anything you want, eh? Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Uh... Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Uh, oh, you, you don't say. Oh, Gumshoe. Don't worry, buddy. We're going to find whatever demon monster or ghost did this. Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay. Mr. Head and the Floofy Pink Claw is... Law lawyer, he what? Never mind. I'll tell you. It happened last night, about fifteen minutes after midnight. Oh my God, he's doing the whole recap. Oh shit. Whew. There was a boat out on Gord Locke. In that boat were two men <laughs> kissing. One of those men shot. Oh shit. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. Stop drawing art of it like it happened. And the shoot and the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get here so fast? Well, there was a witness. Whew, excuse me. When the report came in, we raced to the lock A. A witness. Tell me about Edgeworth. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. <laughs> I'll lick that witness right now. Right. Who cares what the witness says? I, I, I care. Hmm. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course say I do. But the police say are pretty sure he's the killer. 
No bodies even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no. After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine eh, that no one's standing up to take his seat A. Eh? Huh. Huh. This is gonna be a weird one. Well, at, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's def- Why are we pretending like Maya's asking the, all these questions and not us? <sighs> Phoenix Wright has a patsy. Pat, ace, ace Patsy attorney. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? Let me... Gesundheit. He hasn't gotten One yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Right. For anyone who might not know, in this anime universe, uh, all trials happen within 48 hours of the crime being committed. And you only have three days to do a trial, and then it just ends. It's silly and arbitrary, but it, it keeps the stakes going fast. It'd be weird if it was like, well, today we decided which piece of evidence is technically evidence. Um, well, I don't know the Hall story, but apparently no one he's been talking to will take his case. W why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. Uh, un unfortunately not. Well, pal, then you got a job to do. Help out Mr. Edgeworth. You prove that baje you wear isn't some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. Damn, he's breathing heavy. I'm, I'm glad someone's in his corner other than me. Who was this witness? Uh, sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Okay, they then. Was, uh, was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out on the locket last night. Also, uh, Christmas. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking Thinges out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> oh, I can't enjoy your banter when my beautiful boy is in an awful cold jail. Can I move? No. I talked to you about everything. I don't have any. Oh. Do I. Do I. Do I. Just whip it out? Show him who's boss? Assert my dominance? Present. <sighs> Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth, my love, let me defend you. Huh. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. Try again. <laughs> Maya, leave. Well, what do you mean by that? I'll tell you when you're older. Jesus. Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. I never noticed how gray and kind of purple your eyes are. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. Ooh, that's okay. I thought it was going to be your fault because you made such a big deal out of like, I've never lost a case. So now all the defense attorneys are like, who's keeping score? Damn, he shattered all of their their confidence. I kind of love that. I mean, I'd have no confidence around him either. Look at him. He's strong. He's handsome. His hair is graying. Those ascots look fresh. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. 
or that was my normal voice. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular. I cannot ask to do this. What? Conflict of interest? What are you talking about? Did you do it? <laughs> Alright, let me just take some notes here. And Did you do it? <laughs> Does that ever work? No, no it doesn't. Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask. We, what if we held hands? <laughs> but you didn't do it. Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. W why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help. Okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Damn! Nick, Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But, Nick? Yeah, don't, don't you speak such blasphemies right now. Okay, good. I can still talk to Gumshoe. How long is... Just kiss me and make me your attorney already. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Kim and Jimmy didn't face these kind of problems. Society just wasn't ready for, <laughs> for, for Phoenix and Miles. Yeah, he's a bit of a celebrity. T. If you deafened him and lost your reputation, and be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared in assent. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Probably because of our history. Especially not us, he said. What? What, what? That doesn't make any sense, eh, pal? You should have heard him talking about... Oh, tell me exactly everything he said in detail Do you have a recording. You should have heard him talking about you after that tree all. He kept saying, Rikid, 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 over and over. You'd think it's as if you guys had made out before, maybe a little more. You might have pretended it was it was the buzz from the alcohol, but you knew that you were both stone so sober. Nick, you need to tell me your history right fucking now. I'm not sure that's a good sign. Eh, neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your why wouldn't he want your help, eh? I don't get it. Detective Gums, you sir. What? Find something? Uh no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want they want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Rigid. I'm oaf. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last thing, guys, you want to ask me before I head back? Uh how to get in touch with you? Both. Do I need your number? For like Edgeworth? I'm so confused. You're not coming back, detective? Erm, um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we need some something to talk to you about? Ah, ragged. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime, eh? Directions to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Could we have gotten the autopsy report? Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. Wh what? Um, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we... Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. <laughs> Writes us a little, like, hall pass little note. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get investigating. Is, is this allowed? Am I allowed? But... 
criminal affairs. What about lawyer affairs? Okay, anyway. Gord Lake, public beach. If I had known that this case took place on Christmas, this would have been part of, like, the holiday season streams. Um, wowzers, this is Gord Lake. Yep. Not sure it wow warrants a wowzers, though. Mm, probably not. But hey, look at the snack stand. Samurai dog. That sounds weird. These hot dogs are made out of samurais. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. Kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. Uh. Do I start clicking on? Wow, Gord Lake is pretty big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape. Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Don't believe everything you read in books, Maya. Oh, okay. Hot dog stand. It's closed. <laughs> the Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads, Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. <laughs> look, I don't know what that looks like, but that does not look like a hot dog. I guess it kind of does. With, like, toothpaste on it. Ooh. Huh, someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes pop. Yeah, yeah, I know the ones. You see them around a lot. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, they might be a clue... Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? <laughs> Was it that obvious? Poppers. Uh, uh, two, please, to go. Check, please. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? <laughs> Into my pocket. Classic party paper. Classic party noisemaker. Pull the string, it goes bang. Not very clue-worthy. That's, that's how they framed Edgeworth, was by killing someone with a popper. Trash hands empty. At least the place is very well maintained. Is that it? Oh, there's more. I was like, um... Ooh, is someone vlogging? Def oh my god, that camping sign. No! No camping! Please! I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go! Talk to them. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. Oh, I'm not having this conversation. The love of my life is in a jail. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you better not camp here. I swear to God. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. Wait. If the sign said, what? If, wait. What if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Anyway. I don't think there's anything of note here. <laughs> Just leave. This camera has a mic and some sort of... Attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <clears throat> the earth is flat, and I approve. <laughs> Wrong kind of triggered. Okay, anyway. Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey! I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. 
D don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices? Well, what then? These things? The party poppers. Nailed it. Well, it responded. Yeah? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> The teeth. I thought I was reading the dialogue and I noticed the teeth. They look like like Sonic the Hedgehog eyes. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's like one shape. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! Ah! What? <laughs> yeah, I figured. Okay. Uh. What in the? What in the? Hey, what in the Sam Hill? Look what you done now! There goes a whole roll of film! Uh, what, huh? Hey, sorry, but it don't pay- Sorry's nice, but it don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of that film costs? Uh, I'll, I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like they say in Texas, we're walking here. I knew it. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I know, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> I don't know how you say y'all while trying to be in like a... <laughs> New Yorky kind of kind of vibe. Yeah, I know how y'all Yanks think. Who says that? I say those Southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why they must be dumb. See backstory. She intentionally talks like a New Yorker to subvert the stereotype and stick it to the Yanks. Well, let me tell yous. Just because I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. I'm standing here, Nick. Help! And who are you? And who are you now? His chaperone? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Ra uh, well, uh, we're sort of we're sort of friends. Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. I gotta have this bagel before noon. Ha <laughs> ha! God. <laughs> Owie, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Holy crap! Thank you. Look at that. I still don't get what that does. Well, 87 to go. <laughs> Thank you, Owie. Like, is there, can you send a message when you do it or no? Damn. Okay, good. Well, everyone, people grabbed him. Holy crap. I still don't know what that does. I better draw faster. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Owie, for gifting five. For gifting five memberships. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, Gad, I'd, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's drawls than listen to you stutter all day. Oh, boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Hey, watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> the teeth. They look like Sonic eyes. <laughs> they do. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, what? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names. But someone used up a whole roll. Whoa, that was weird. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention? What, like a present? Look at that smirk. It's cute. Yo. I, or, uh, the, this is my badge. Eh? Ain't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Uh, I'm a lawyer. What? What? 
Y'all ain't gonna try. Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know. God, it's almost not working. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled meaner looking things than you. No, 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 that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. Uh, murder? Sounds cool! Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. You too. You too. Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Not hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Oh, I was confused. I'm like, who else is here? It's, it's, sorry. I, I was feeling a, a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Oh, that's valid, kiddo. Hey, never you mind, honey. I, I can talk yank for you if, uh, if it pleases you. Uh, thanks. I, I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada hot. But y'all can call me. <laughs> this was definitely supposed to be Southern. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Y'all can call me Lada. I'm here photographing media showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It, ha it happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, uh, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Uh, not sure, though. Maybe, uh, maybe my Uncle Benjamin could remind me, refresh my memory, eh? Uh, y'all gotta remember, I've been watching the Sea of Lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kind of, what the fuck was that? Kind of hard to remember when I, which I seen, which I seen when. God damn. They really wanted you to be Southern, and I'm not giving up. So, what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right here in the heart of the Hotland. The what? Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at a university, Country U. Uh, yeah, so I hear. So, when did, when did you come up here? Eh, let me see. I guess it was about, uh, three days ago. What are you photographing? Uh, didn't I tell y'all that already? Medias, uh, yeah, yeah, media showers. That's a fucking lie. Falling stars? That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German-made, a genuine Solen Solengen. Isn't that where they make knives? Uh... So what's the device you have to you have to you have what's the device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that uh that mic triggers the that mic triggers the shutter whatever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera, neat. Cool. Add it to the court record. Uh, I guess that's all I'm allowed to talk to you about for now. Okay, bye. I don't get the southern joke. Uh, well, for starters, I, I'm trying to formulate voices as fast as possible. It's just fun to me um i i think the idea is that character's supposed to be southern i picked something very not southern that's very funny to me but also um i think like the like bejesums and stuff like that is confusing to maya who's never heard it um oh there we go yeah cheyenne just said in the original japanese version of the game she's from forgive me osaka with a con con Kanzi? Kanzi accent? I don't think I'm saying this right. Which is really interesting that they adapted it like they did. Yeah. It's different uh, different dialects and stuff, but also like regionalisms and things, so... Um, 
I don't know. I get that. Sometimes people say things, whether their dialect makes the word change in a strange way or it's just like a turn of phrase that's not common other places. Like, I, I will sooner ask for a soda than I would ask for a pop because that's dumb. Um, I find it funny you chose apparently the opposite of what she was intending to be. Yeah, yeah, I'm also really happy to because, I don't know, I already did a, I did my Sandy Cheeks, um, I think in the second case, right? I did my bad Sandy Cheeks impression voice. Um, so, I don't know. I think it's fun. Um, a boat, I guess, like, I still have a couple of, like, I have a couple of Southern-inspired kind of vague voices, um, because, like, my dad's whole side of the family is Southern, so I've had to, I've had to listen to quite a lot. Um, anyway, uh, boat rental shop, closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? With Edgeworth. And you watch from the shore. Hey, good idea. You bet. Ah. Uh, can I move? No. Can I touch the door? Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's around. And probably closed because it's Christmas. Boats. There's some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder? I wonder. <laughs> cross exam. <laughs> Do your cross examination on the testimony of the boat. Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Okay. I can't do much here. Uh, entrance. Oh, criminal affairs department. Oh my god, look at the little boy. Oh, it looks like a squirtle had a really bad hair day. <laughs> uh, that angry man on the computer. Looks like Detective Gum. The. The. Looks like Detective Gumshoe was in here. Something wrong, miss? Eh, turning yourself in? Okay, what'd you do? Shoplifting? Larceny? Public indecency? Uh, no! None of these things. We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh, yeah. He's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, we'll come back. Yeah, you do that. Oh, and go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you got that? Do I look like a criminal or something? That was really rude. Goddamn cops profiling a poor kid. Uh, where's my boyfriend? Fuck. Home? I feel like I went everywhere. So I, I, I uh, Lada? Yeah! So your camera, it triggers on loud ex Okay, that was the only thing I didn't do. Uh, it triggers on loud explosions? Yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. Uh, a pistol. Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? Yeah, I, I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Eh, hey, y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. I tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my uh, film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. Yeah, I checked them once. Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. But what if I got something? I could be a witness to a gen genuine murder. Yeehaw. <laughs> I'll go check that film. Y'all y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> Is 
She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later? It's not like I just went literally everywhere else. Okay. Well, fuck me. Now do I go to the bar? No. No. Damn it. Yay. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe, we just finished the meeting, for better or for war, say. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. The victim. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't id him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. <laughs> True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore, eh? Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, eh, he wouldn't be hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trio's starting tomorrow, as scheduled. I see. Lada's the implied witness, right? Or was she lying about... She just didn't want to tell us anything? Or is there a different witness? Um, hey... In the end, you you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Uh, yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. Very close to him. And hold his hand. I've been writing fanfic about the two of you for quite some time. <laughs> he needs help. And you're the ones to help him. Bro, I am trying to hold that man's hand so bad right now. I'm I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Trusting Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe, how can you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. Oh. <laughs> we trust each other. And that's how it works. A working relationship. Don't say that in front of Phoenix. See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every team A. Yet his methods might be a little extreme A at team A's. But there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. Oh, man. Sorry. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that day. Can we get the autopsy report? I'm tired of hearing someone who isn't me give my man so many compliments. I was wondering, did you ever get the autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. One bullet shot to the heart, and you're to blame. Darling, you give love a bad name. Oh my god, Bon Jovi predicted Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? No, my for the last time, you're not looking at pictures of dead bodies until you're at least 21. That face... Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just had this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. It's her dad? Oh, that was the end of the conversation? Shit. Okay. That was, that was it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Can I talk to my boyfriend? Fuck! Just... 
<sighs> I knew I had it in me all along to investigate in the correct order, eventually. Hey, y'all. Lana. Wait, uh, wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo. My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey, this is them. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading. Oh, okay. That looks scary as fuck. I also would be very inclined to get that tattoo. A million views. Legitimate views. Wait. Hey, see, see, he's shooting him with that pistol. It looks, li it looks like that, yeah. But you can't really tell who, who that is, who that is shooting, who that is uh, shooting. Yeah, well, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog, but you know, <laughs> all those New York bullfrogs. <laughs> Seeing, seeing these photos reminds me of something. What? I saw the, I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Hey, <laughs> I'm witnessing here. Just like we say in Texas. <laughs> what? Are, are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never, never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Uh... Yeah, I feel like this is going to happen no matter what, so I might as well be a good boy. I reckon so. Hey, what's that? Now, don't don't y'all go trying to mock my uh, accent here. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the caps. <laughs> the caps. <laughs> I suck so much. <laughs> y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm walking here? T t t tell us what you saw too, please. Hey, nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means... Damn. The cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell use. L Lotta. Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. That's what they say in, uh, in, uh, <laughs> Brooklyn, Louisiana. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, uh, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot, hot Don. She, she left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do? Oh, so yeah, so Lada wasn't the witness originally. I'm trying to... Oh, my leggies. Let's bring that. Hold on, I'm trying to adjust. Ugh, I'm trying to get nice and comfy. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Leg photo added to the court record. Now I need to get Edgeworth to admit that he likes me. Oh, never mind. Uh, looks like the police have been... Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! I knew it. I knew we exists all along. Fuck you, Mom and Dad. Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude. It's me. Larry! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. You want one? Gotta give money for dates, you know. My girl, Kianse, deserves the best. I hope I'm saying that right. Kianse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. Hoot. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know. 
She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? Oh, Larry, no. She's not your, not my, what? no, no, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm a, uh, the little sister. Please stop calling me cute immediately. Sister? <laughs> Hardly. Wow, Nick must be tough. Wow, Nick must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. What a way to make a living. <laughs> I want a Dolly Parton hoodie <laughs> crossover so bad. Uh, no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. That sounds like the name of a shitty indie movie. My older sister's little sister. Huh, sounds great. Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. Oh my God, is Larry one of the witnesses? Hey, Larry, there was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. Well, right in the heart. Turns out I was the one shot in the heart. We get an autopsy report for that burn? I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it, it, it's just... Kyonsei's not in town right now. She, She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model, I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's to... Oh, anyway, there's a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh, neat. Hey, look a bug. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth? Uh, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa! Nick! You don't mean that Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy! Yeah. <laughs> edgy. Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa! Murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Oh, is that the whole... That can't be the whole backstory. Come on. I know them so well because when Phoenix dated Miles, we all became good pals. Uh, tell me about the, the, the dogs. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? I... I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs, you know, like, guard. Anyway. Ouch. The samurai thing was Keonsei's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner, hardly. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Uh, something about that just seems wrong. That's capitalism's fault, Maya, not his. All right. Like and subscribe. Donate if you can. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G G Gordy? So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah. Nick and him and I used to hang out all the time. Most of the time it was just the two of them, but you know, they'd hang out a lot, holding hands and singing songs for hours. Wow, I I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud, studying it all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a, def was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, then why is he a... Yeah, okay. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Sure did. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee. What? <laughs> proboscis on his knee? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee. No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. It's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Hmm. Huh. Well, go figure. 
He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Justice for everyone. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> as soon as I get that sandpiper money, I'm opening a pro bono case. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. Doesn't he know we live in a society? I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? Might have been when we broke up. It, Nick? Oh, I don't get to say anything. When does Phoenix Wright get to say anything about this? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? <laughs> it's here! In this very lake! A giant mystery! Mysterious monster! Gordy! A, a monster? Yeah! Check it out! This is an article from yesterday's newspaper! There's a photo! Wow, it's really real! A mon Nick, a monster! What's the music ch Those people need eyeballs. And the music just changed. Um, yeah. It's probably just a logo or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Mm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang. Like, Oh, someone else took the photo. I thought Lada did for a minute. Never mind. I heard a loud explosion. I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. There'll be one million dollars. Oh, one million? Grow up, Larry. Gordy article added to the court record. Well, I think that's all we can do with our boy Hootie. Flamio, Hotman. All right, I think we're good. Yeah. Oh, should we show the article? Oh, no, she left. Damn it. There we go. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're, if you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. You know, the room where we ask the important questions. Who am I? Where are we going? Apparently, an, an important witness turned up. He'll be there for a while. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Again, implying that there's another witness as well. Uh... What did I not do? Go back to the woods? No. What's this? You know, my eyes have... My eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was, it was taken last night. Last night? <clears throat> hey, Larry, you know this guy? Who's this? <clears throat> I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? Uh, well... Oh, wait. Maya said she'd seen him before, didn't she? Should I talk to Maya, then? Uh... There we go. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office. Wait. 
You mean Grosberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him. For old time's sake. There we go. Fucking let's go. Let's go progression. Oh, and his painting's still going to be missing. He didn't get that back when we arrested Mr. White. He can't keep getting away with this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what voice I gave him. Uh, hee -hee -um. uh, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Ah, you me is something. No, you're not. I was her understudy. Yes, Phoenix Wright. Ah, and you, you me is something too. Are you not? Her little sister. Yeah. You've grown. You've come here to look at. You've come to look a lot like your sister. You know. It takes me back. Eh, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Grosberg, sir. Huh? Ah, yes. I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I, I, I just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is this is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grosberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh yes, I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it is stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts, old, old, old bit of desserts. Uh. Huh? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Hey! Did you remember? He was a lawyer. Here, in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edge was shot? Yeah? Yeah. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond, he was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yeah, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps, perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean, was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. <laughs> we all know who, who Miles shot Phoenix with Cupid's arrow. Uh, the DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her power. <sighs> Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Eh, yeah, yes, quite. Thank you. N no please, D don't mention it. You did something bad, didn't you, sir? DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. DL6 is what they called me in college. That doesn't work. But wait, what does that case have to anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? Miles had a dad? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Okay. Jokes aside about the imminent relationship between Miles and Phoenix, 
what if he doesn't want us defending him because of Maya, not Phoenix? Right? Because that's her mom. This is a photograph. Yep. This is a photograph of my mother. Misty Faye's photo out of the court record. That'd be pretty cool. Let's go visit my bad boy in detention. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. I guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. <laughs> God. I'll ask you again. Just leave me alone. Please, try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case without me holding your hand, understand? Why did you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor, apparently, would you tell Detective Gumshoe. Sensitive? Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Oh. I feel like a dick for grilling him this hard, but yet he needs a defense. Uh, look at a picture of Maya's mom. Ugh. Mm. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit, I am impressed, right? You were always single minded in your work. <laughs> you were always single minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through to completion, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I got lost in your eyes. <laughs> you just like, look, right. Uh, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. Oh, look at his concerned, handsome little face. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. Job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. <laughs> DLC's nuts? So, so do you, do you think it would have been, so do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer the best of my abilities. Whew. I don't know why doing doing my <laughs> my less supported way of speaking really like takes it out of me. Okay. Well, that's all I can ask you. The DL6, the DL6 incident was when my father died. Oh, shit. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. Holy damn! My memories from that time are... foggy. I suppose it's a, a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. Edgeworth, are you okay? Did he just say that he, he saw his dad's murder? It's pretty clear we had, we, he, it's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. Damn, and he potentially, or, or at least was in what he was told that he talked to the ghost of his dad. Holy shit. My man's seen a million lifetimes worth of trauma. 
It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. Oh, he didn't know? I mean, I'm not going to judge you on an intellectual level. I'm Something tells me you looked at her name and disassociated that knowledge. What? You mean you're... It's strange, life. I thought that... I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now... This. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago. On December 28th. December 28th? The statute, of the statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally, the, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. Huh. What happened to the suspect, the one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. Maybe even a judge? <laughs> Just every single character is wrapped in this. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life being a murder suspect in such a big case. So, wait. So, Edgeworth is being framed for the murder of a witness to the murder to the murder of his father. Not the victim. The man who died is the lawyer. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, Maya, how about we talk about your dead parents? Like, damn. Is that it? I'm sorry, I can't think of anything I want to say about that. Hmm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone. No. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. Oh, yay, this does. Are we, please, yes, a thousand times yes. A million times yes. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes, will you? Uh, of course we will, for the rest of our lives. Uh... Who could have guessed this day? Who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. I remember doing ma many things to you, but never anything for you. Never mind. I, I, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request, please. Give it to Detective Gumshoe. Edward's request, put in pocket. <laughs> Be sure to make a photocopy for yourself. For your relationship scrapbook. Well, or, well, I, I guess we should... Uh, what's... Th oh, shit. Earthquake, it's a big one. Whoa! It's coming down. Whew, that was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There. Oh. My sweet, precious boy. He's on the floor, shivering. 
I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Fuck you, Maya! Can someone support him or get him a glass of water or something? Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Is... Is he gonna be okay? Can you check on him? Guard monitors have been... Okay. Okay, so that was definitely a plot point because nothing came of that earthquake other than Edrith doesn't do well with earthquakes. I really don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that we just leave him there. But I guess, what can we do when he's in the detention center? It might be the logic there, but like, wait for him. Make sure he's okay. Uh... What's going on here? Miles Edgeworth has collapsed in a panic attack after the earthquake, and you did nothing. This is not like my fanfic at all. <laughs> ah. What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a wheel ago. Says she came to talk y'all after hearing what Mr. Riggett had to say. What's this all about, pal? Not a heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Ah. You trying to say something about the way I do my job, eh? No, sir. Pay me, bitch. Look what I got. <laughs> Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you, Two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Good boy. Gumshoe best boy. Oh, right. He did seem to... Phoenix right to... Now that you mention it, he definitely responded in a way I wasn't expecting. You know what? Fuck it. Miles Edgeworth x Detective Gumshoe. He's the only one who cares. He's the only one who's there for him during earthquakes. What's Phoenix Wright doing? Bitch slapping papers in a fun little gif-like format? No. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quack, eh? I'm going to ch- Best boy. Gum Gumworth. Gumworth, let's go. Ed Shoe. That's pretty good, too. Gumworth, let's go. Gumworth, let's go. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trio. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and Earthquakes. Gumshoe x Ed Edgeworth x Wright Thrupple. Phoenix Wright is not going to be invited into the Thrupple if he's not going to take Edgeworth's response to Earthquakes seriously. I'm very disappointed. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. It's almost like something might have happened. And again, I only got—I only really got to know him in fourth grade. 
He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Phoenix is on thin ice. Yeah, for real. Cool. Well, loved everything except Phoenix Wright's, like, blatant lack of care for fucking Edgeworth's fucking <laughs> clearly dramatic response to earthquakes. All right, time for the trial. Uh, so... I'm I'm so confused on the DL6 stuff, and I think that's intentional for right now. Um, yeah, friendly reminder to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, donate if you can, um, become a member. Uh, donations uh, go a long way to paying off games, paying off equipment, paying for games, paying off equipment, and some of Bill's bills. I'm ready. Oh, I keep pressing X, and then it's like, okay, I guess we're saving again. December 26th. Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He's me if I never met you. <laughs> Woo. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Mm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Huh. <laughs> I'm not here to flirt today after what you just did abandoning me after an earthquake. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. That's right. Think of ten Edgeworths, Phoenix. Think of them multiplying. Uh, so... So was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And, and now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait... Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Uh, Maya? Uh-huh. We could really be using me as help right now. Don't you think? <laughs> Turn back into her. <laughs> so weird. Oh. Uh-huh. I can't. Sorry. I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Aw, oh, man, what bad timing. If only you had taken me to a waterfall. Aw, oh, man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? You never noticed? Edgeworth, good for you for keeping your eyes front and center. Uh, nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Hold my hand. Phoenix. I don't want to be alone. September 26, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom. No three. The third courtroom. Hello? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Why is everyone hot? Oh, I don't know what voice to give this man.
uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Look at his Hamilton looking ass. Oh, fuck. Um. Oh, I'm running out of voices. Something tells me he's going to be talking a lot. Uh... I don't have a lot of faith in my going way up there, huh? Uh... <laughs> I'm drawing such a blank. Oh, no. Um... Maybe a donation. No, I just intentionally I'm just stalling. Um, I could give him the Sandy Cheeks voice. That'd be kind of funny. Um, fuck. Now I wish I had to use the hoodie because look at it. This would have been a perfect hoodie. I'm really tempted to fuck with everybody. I'm thinking about it too long. I'm thinking about it too long. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> <sighs> You seriously think that I would stand here when I am not, were I not completely prepared? Oh, right. My, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Oh, very well. Your, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, uh, d uh nothing, of course. Uh, that should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this what's with this guy? Is he loyalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick. Okay, gumshoes first. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing a bunch of people demanding a specific type of voice who aren't donating. Hmm. Hmm. This is what you want to use your gifted memberships for? Hurting me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Describe the incident now. Uh, yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Er, please, take a look at the mop. The murder happened last Christmas Eve. Oh, thank you, Comfe, for the two dollars. Please, no. G please, God, no. Vampire, please? I don't... I don't think I got one of those. Who's more evil? M MVK... Who's MV... Oh, Von Karma. Or Bill. Is this the first letter? What's the M stand for? Thank you, Nicole. I think it's funny, too. Manfred. Thank you. Manfred. Who the fuck names their kid Manfred? <laughs> 50 people just... My name's Manfred. No, it's perfect. Keep the voice. Oh, yeah. I am I think it's funny. I don't know if I'll keep it for the full time, but I think it's fucking funny. Manfred like Ice Age. Canon. Uh, sorry, everyone's... It's just... Why? No. I'm having... You know what? We're gonna... You gotta donate if you're gonna talk to me. I'm putting chat in a little bit of timeout right now. It's about having fun. It's 
It's about having fun. <clears throat> Gumshoe, right, right, right. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12:10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then that boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. It's kind of too focused to say that weird. He's not even saying anything half the time. What a dick. Okay, we got a map. <laughs> Testify to the court about the arrest. No! <laughs> well, wait, Mr. Von Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Little asshole! Wong, there is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Y yes, of course, you're right. No, he's not. <sighs> A man called into the station around around 30 minutes after midnight. <laughs> we headed to the Sene of the Creme. As fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning, a body was found in the lock A. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross examination, attorney, now! What a little bitch. I hate him so much. <laughs> okay. <sighs> a man called into the station around 30. Do I have anything with times? Okay. 12.15. At the scene of the crime as fast as we could. So we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. The next morning, a body was found in the lake, so we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. You received a call from a man? Er, yup. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Jesus! That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Gurk? Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping? A lot of heart? What happened next, detective? We headed to the Sene of the Creme as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake, so we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Nick, doesn't it seem like Detective Gumshoe's being a little vague? I bet Von Karma is feeding him lines. His, testi his testimony is probably filled with landmines just waiting for me to press. Ew. What do we do? Grit our teeth and press, I guess. What else can we do? Well said, Nick. You're the man. Thanks, Miss Mullins. You're the man. Uh, the man called the station around 30 minutes after midnight. Uh, what was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him, then? Well... From what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Jesus. <laughs> I fucking hate this dude. Facts only, Detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Hey, yes, sir. 
Man, he's got his share of objections. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, I'm on the lake. What? Did you find any clues on the body? A single... <laughs> <laughs> I first I read it as a secret bullet. <laughs> I was thinking of, well, apparently there's a secret garden in all of us. A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally, and you're to blame. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts this bullet into evidence. Pistol bullet. Add it to the court record. Haley, thank you for the two. Just got home from work and ready to watch. Thank you, Haley. I, I like to think you're going to support me in my unique artistic choices this stream. So we had to arrest Mr. What do you mean? We didn't ha have, have to? Oh, why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe, that is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Uh, right, this is sorry, your owner. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive. Decisive of what? What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Uh, he has the same evil laugh as Edge. Laugh? Oh, he's a tisk tisk. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. The hand he would... What? Order. Order. So, Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Yes, yes, you're on air. Judge, this is the weapon in question. A accepted into ev accepted into evidence. Twenty-two caliber filed, fired three times. Bears prints from Edgeworth's right hand. Three times. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective... Yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet ma match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean by ballistic markings? Shocking! To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me. Tisk. Very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, me? <clears throat> Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You could examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. <laughs> this pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. <laughs> Thank you, Haley. I believed in you defending me. Ugh. Uh, order. This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge... I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... Uh-uh-uh! You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes! Judge! Uh, yes? What are you doing? A ten-minute recess! No! But, but, wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! I uh, guess. Uh, um, the court will take a ten-minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? 
All right, here's your chance. If we fundraise enough and them donations, if people are mad enough to put their money where their mouth is, maybe... Uh, I almost said Von Shadow. Von, uh, Von Karma will uh, take his medicine that changes his voice. It's a condition that he doesn't like talking about, so it's never been introduced into the direct canon. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, or don't need to keep it. I really don't care. I'm having fun. I I might change it. I don't know. <laughs> Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints was on the murder weapon? Your right hand, no less? That's my favorite hand. Uh, mm. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes. It was me. What? But you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Th then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? Hmm. I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I, I, I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Y you mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say, Maya. Huh? What? Well, well, what? Any progress with Mia? Uh, oh, sorry. It's no good. Ugh. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I? No, dude, don't say that. If I can't call my sister... Yeah, you're useless. End of game. You're guilty. You're useless. Phoenix right out? No. Um, if I can't clear my sister, I might as well not be... Dude. The fact that you could call her once, let alone the two, three times you have, is miraculous in and of itself. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. The horse, nor the dead. Uh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Don't jinx this case any more than it is already. It's bad for my heart to see you down yourself. Oh? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. How dare you talk down about the man I love. The, does something... Is that of consequence if I say, yeah, you should leave? Does she just leave? Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Doesn't seem like it's... Okay. 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 Fine. <sighs> yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. Lotta Hart, you are a research student at a university? Ah, uh, dead I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? There. Y'all need to learn. Y'all need to learn some manners. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. <laughs> understand? Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand uh, very well. Your testimony, please. Witnesses account. It was uh, Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. 
I heard this bang come from a front come up from the lake. What? How does a bang come up from the lake? When I looked out at the window, I saw two gents in a boat, and there was another bang. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but that boat. Enough. Huh? Judge! She happened to take a photo of the incident! This is the photo! Accept it as evidence! Uh, well, th th this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. <laughs> I'm so happy that I, I didn't get... <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't, like, there was no indicator that this character was supposed to be Southern. I'm so happy. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. Order. I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So, the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was a defendant. Miles Edgeworth! Order, order, order. I will have order. Well, Judge. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well. This court finds the... Whoa. Well, wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? <laughs> Examine this cross. And he just flips him off. <laughs> we have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. That's just one word a thousand times. You lose. Or do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? Uh. Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then, I will have you held in contempt- God damn! I will have you held in contempt of court! Uh, Nick? Contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I- I guess I understand. Well, what are you gonna do? You really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? I think there was. That's- that's the game. I- I love him too much. I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. Wait, this is a crown. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. That still sounds weird. When I look out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. Was it nearly a thing on the lake with that boat? Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. Like we say in Brooklyn, we're country gals. Uh, press further? How come you're so sure? Well, uh, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. Ugh. No need for further questions. Objection sustained! Uh, that's... that's what I'm... Sustained! Uh, yes, of course. Oh, great. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? There weren't any contradictions in there. Sorry, Nick. If only my sister were here. Maya's really taking this hard.
I was in my car. Well then, what the fuck are you doing testifying then? Monster going blank. Oh, the map? Ah, uh, you would have gotten a pretty good view, just not of the boats right away. Fired three times. That's going to be important. I heard this bang come up from the lake. I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. No? Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless! Contradictions, Mr. Wright, not meaningless babble. Von Karma, I think I hate you. He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? The only thing I could think of is that the evidence says that the gun was fired three times and she's only talking about two. That's the only thing I could think of. Or you couldn't see them because it was foggy? Fuck. Yeah, either the photo shows that it's too foggy or the the third there wasn't enough shots being talked about. Christmas Eve just after midnight. Ah, wrecking. It's my car. That's bank of the link. So two gents in a boat. Yeah, one bullet shot to the heart. What do you mean you heard multiple bangs? Objection. Fuck. Your Honor, that statement contradicts his evidence. It doesn't seem. We're just, we're just, we're just gonna, just in case, just in case, um, another bang. Nothing on the lake but the boat and Gordy? What do you want from me? But there's a monster in the lake? That can't be relevant. Damn it. The witness's statement is clearly faulty. Okay, then I'm focusing back on the gun, then. Oh, or I guess... Fuck. 
Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Load. I will never fail. I will never die. Uh... In my car, I heard this bang come up from the lake. That seems like, what the fuck does that mean, come up from the lake? Then there was another bang. What do you... Were you watching? Shot? Well, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, this is. He cuts her off. Fuck. This dude's an asshole. Ah, oh, shit. There you a thing on the lake with that boat. Yeah, that's. That's not gonna change that. Did I already try the picture with I saw two gents in a boat? Ah, fuck, is it the camera? Yes. The camera. I heard this bang come up from the lake. Then there was another bang. But your camera didn't go off. If I could just talk, I'd be able to say that distinctly. Okay, fog and chants. No. Don't tell me what to do. Stupid judge, what do you know? I bet you've never seen a trap before in your life. All right, if someone has a hint, I'm I'm open to hints right now. I've gone insane. Oh, I just at the window. I saw two gents in a boat. Like, I think I know contradictions in this, but I don't know the contradiction that the game wants me to find right now. Because I think I nailed it. There's, there's too many bangs and not enough photos. And there's not enough total bangs with how many shots fired from the gun. And there's something else in the lake because people were searching for a monster. But I, I can't... I can't... Dig digitize my ass into this and be like, hold on, let me list out all these things. Um, oh, oops.
Got me. I think I did the gun. No. What? It's it's stuck on an automated thing. There's a million things wrong with this testimony. Objection. It's the <laughs> day and time. I'm just gonna start over. Mentally start over, not literally start over. Okay. Christmas Eve. Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Uh, well, yes. I know you want to find contradictions, but really. Mm. I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. I was in my car. Was it a fast car? Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Press. Miss Hart, could you be more specific about your research? I feel like pressing it. Because last time, every other time I've been stuck, pressing everything brought up something. He just keeps cutting me off. What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have? What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing! I object to this line of questioning! Objection sustained! Wait, now, I'm the one who says that! Well then, say it already! Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. I heard this bang come up from the lake. So you weren't looking at the lake at that time? No, I was... I looked after I heard that noise. She said that... She said that already! I asked you to find contradictions! Not leisurely chat with the witness. Eh. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Could you clearly see the two men? Are you shitting me? I must have done this like twice. Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? Uh-oh. Press further. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men uh well of course the witness has testified that she saw them there's also a photo you'd best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions he jumped in quick he's hiding something enough I think we've heard all we need to hear Mr. Wright you've done this four times you've reloaded this game it seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. But, Your Honor... You keep your promise! Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts by holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the court... Oh my... So what? This is sudden death? And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh-huh. Nick. Lotta's testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know. I, I know what you mean. But if I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment, judgment passer. Very well. Mr. Miles... I almost said Miles Morales. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. So wait, this was rigged? I didn't even have to make a single objection yet? But who, who was that? It was... me. Maya. It, it's something wrong. Do you need to use the facilities? No, I do not. 
Lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. She's right. Lotta, did you really did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lotta. Hey, what's the big idea treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him, I swear it. I saw Edgeworth. Enough! Judge, declare the defense in contempt of court! I, I, yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Me? What did I do? Escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. No! No! Wait, I was the one who, yeah, I was going to say, uh, are we like bound together with like tape? I was the one who made the outburst, your honor. Nick is innocent. Ah, what's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Haha, <laughs> more like Phoenix wrong. Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Fuck yeah. Order. 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 <laughs> Uh, 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 order. He's doing a little song to himself. You're in contempt of court. It's too late to make for, for wild claims. Judge! Sustain my objection! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What? Miss Lotta Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But... But he is in contempt of court! No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Hmm. Very well. You, child, fucking jail. My F.A., you will leave the courtroom immediately. Oh, now I'm all alone. No. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. M Maya... Is she just being told to go outside, or is she going to jail? I feel like we've said jail and go outside. I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. Every day I write like I'm running. I better find a contradiction in here or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. F in the chat for Maya... Being in the courtroom? That last statement. I saw it clear as day. The man on the boat was mis- No, you fucking didn't. Hold on, let me- I'm getting nervous about this now. Let me save. That's it? Uh-oh. I don't know if I can find anything in that. But I can't squander Maya's efforts either. What are you talking about? We literally- Hold on, present- Fuck you. Yeah! Fucking that silence means I'm right. It speaks volumes. Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. What? What? You got what? Fuck yeah, it's been so long. Slap that document, sir. Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. The, the photo I took, the very same... There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The man on the left looks kind of like a dong. The fog, Miss Hart. 
Hey, so, so, uh, this picture was taken with professional, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What, you got that 4K 60 FPS in your eyeballs? That's not possible. 4K is a scam. You do not have enough rods and cones. Don't let the system trick you. Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please! Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart. Hey, uh, what? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course! I, I said I could and I meant I could! As we say in, uh, in, in, in Queens, in Queens, Mississippi, we're, we're truth in here. <laughs> please, please, te please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. Oh, I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. How Edrith was seen. Yeah, you're right. It was a cold night. The fog was thick as grits. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in my I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. Hmm. You used binoculars. Very well. You may begin your cross examination, Mr. Wright. Uh, this one better be good. Ugh, how Edgeworth was seen. You're right, it was a cold night, the mist was thick as grits. Ah, uh, I love, every time I go to, to New York, I have to at least get one bowl of grits. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. What? So, how could you see Edgeworth? Now, just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankees! You hasty Yankee types! Never find a find a gal where I'm... What? You hasty Yankee types would never find a gal where I'm from. Got it. Okay. Defense attorneys have trouble with that as it is. Nobody loves me. Well, no. There's significantly less love for you in this room when Edgeworth isn't the prosecutor. So once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Your camera? Yeah, it's got an automatic. The issue we are concerned with here is Miss Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. Okay. Fuck. I brought my binoculars with me. Yeah. How are you gonna see all that foggy shit? Wait, binoculars? You were supposed to be looking at the stars. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars! Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars. Well, uh, yeah! Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars for that? Look at that. I like her little frustrated animation. I've got doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case! You can't say that for certain. Mm, Mr. Wright. Is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with the sign of questioning. But know this! If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences! Well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to press further about the camera? Hell, fuck yeah! This is make it or break it time. I'm gonna smash your fucking camera if you don't tell the truth. <laughs> the camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Ah, uh, maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. 
The camera was set up to take pictures of a meteor. No, it fucking wasn't. It was set up for loud noises. Okay, good. The music stopped. You were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. Hey, uh, s says who? I saw the camera you set up yesterday. <sighs> Sorry. It was pointed directly at the lake. <laughs> Big old piece of, like, fluff was just floating around. Uh, you have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Oof. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Oh, well then, what exactly was she photographing? Evidence? Your Honor, take a look at this. What What was Miss Hart trying to find at the lake? A fucking ghost. Probably Gordy. Or the gun. Miss Hart. This is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy. Ah, the sighting at Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart? I, uh, I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof of something? Let's see how, uh, let's see you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this, uh, Gordy. The camera. The camera. I have it. Proof. There's that confident smile. Hmm, intriguing. Very well, let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. What is the proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy, the lake monster? The camera. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Uh, I did. <laughs> Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here, taken when a gun... F <laughs> Thus, this photograph here, taken when a gun fired on the lake. Thus, this... Yes. Thus, this photograph here, taken when a gun fired on the lake. I'm just gonna softly slap this piece of evidence so it remembers who's in charge. <laughs> and, he and hear this article about... Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set your camera to respond to loud noises. Order. Order. I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart... You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Hey, not bad. Are all lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used... What you just used several... What you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Uh, hey! But, as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing! Nothing! Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason, I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart... Why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change within me. Something is not the same. I'm going to spot it. Mm. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. Because that's all I was... But that... Uh, but that's all I was hiding. 
When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. Then I saw Flash steal one of the ma men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at the boat the whole time, crossed my heart, and hoped to fry. You know, fry, like we do all them shrimps on the bobbies in, uh, in, <laughs> in the Heights, uh, uh, New Mexico. <laughs> Right, New Mexico's the south, technically. Southwest, really, but we'll, I'll take it. Uh, well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The witness's testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she's a research student or a photographer has no bearings on this case. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Uh, uh, hmm. I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Or do you not believe in the Constitution? Von Karma's up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because... Why, was there a contradiction? Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Eh, that would be a first. What a little bitch. <laughs> Very funny. You understand that this is your last chance at cross-examination, Mr. Wright. If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. Why do we keep implying I'm in, like, sudden death round all the time? Is that... the impression it's supposed to be giving me? I'm scared that if I fail in, like, some sort of sudden death thing, like, I'll have to start the whole trial over, and we're not doing that. Um, anyway. Not a research student at any university. An investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop would be. That's why I was came by the lake. When I heard the bang, I looked straight out at that lake. <laughs> uh... I heard the bang, I looked straight up the lake. So I just watched their boat the whole time. Flashed one of the men's hands. I heard another gunshot. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at that time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe he was shot from some other place? I don't think so, nope. The lake was smooth as glass, and nobody was on the shore, e neither. Hmm. Better find some sort of contradictions. Testimony. I won't be able to beat Von Karma any other way. There has to be something. When I heard the bang... It's gotta be about the number of shots, right? Exactly what sort of sound was it? Never heard one... Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It's a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. There was a bang before he was shot. Right? Yeah, I heard another gunshot. What? Would now be the time to bring up the camera? Because you only took one photo, so where is that? Fuck. Damn it. I must be on the wrong track. So I flashed in one of the man's hands and I heard another gunshot. There wasn't much else to look at. 
Yeah. I don't know. She heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there. Oh, I kind of doubt she wasted any time looking at a boat. What? What do I do now? What are you giving me that look for? <laughs> Definitely suspicious. Witness! Continue! Hold your... Hold your hush puppies, pops. I'm getting there. That is a fucking lie. Miss Hart, were you really looking at that boat? The music cue indicates that I was correct. Hey, wh what's with you? Of course I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be, any normal person be looking at it. I agree. Any normal person would, but you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Just starts berating her. But, <laughs> Jesus, dude. But you are far from normal. Hey, what? What? Y'all want to step over here and say that? Forget about it. I, I'm, I'm angry here. <laughs> you were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? After you're done peeing yourself, you'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy. That's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Gah! <laughs> There we go. Order. Continue, Mr. Wright. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Meh. Meh. Hmm. Well? Well, now that, now that y'all... Damn it. Well, uh, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Uh, but Miss Hart, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? <clears throat> uh, sorry. Sorry, y'all. I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't fibbing. Uh, I wasn't fibbing, really. God damn, what was that? I was, I was just, uh, I, I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. I, I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat, uh, t till now. There's, this is totally uncalled for. But, but hey, you got the photograph. It makes you laugh. You got proof. Hmm. Still, we can't see who is shooting who in this. Eh, yeah, right, right. That's why I took this photo and... Yep, there's more than one. What a piece of shit. Witness. That's enough. I guess it's technically not tampering evidence if you block it from ever being evidence at all. That's enough. That's enough! You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole! Shut uh, Shut my what? What was she going to say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She, she even had a photograph to prove it, but you really can't tell from the photo who is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality a mite, but should let us see who's who. She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. It, it shows him <laughs> shooting the victim. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth. Or worse. What should I do? Make her show the enlargement. Right. Miss Hart, look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? Be 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 because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. You old fool. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Eh, mm, Miss Hart. 
That was the wrong voice. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Uh, here it is. Here it is. We still can't see their faces, but everyone is dressed really well and have majestic hands. So, I guess it could be him. Hmm. We still cannot see who is firing in this. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Lake photo adds, that's not a picture of a lake. That's a picture of two men blasting each other. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Uh... There has to be something. You asked for the enlargement? You got... Why... Man, Edgeworth should be saying this. I feel like I'm being punished. Sorry, my butt's getting a little tired, so I'm uh, re readjusting my scooch. All right. you, a you asked for the enlargement, and you got the enlargement. Uh-oh-oh. And little good it has done any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Because I'm such a good little boy. Hmm. I suppose this means the cross-examination is over, obviously. Turns out he's pushing this through because he has to go to the bathroom really bad. He's old. Then I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lotta Hart. And yeah, none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ugh. Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad. Real bad. What should I do? Uh... Objective large with. Your Honor? Okay, that was right. There is something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What might that be? I can tell that that's not Edgeworth's enlargement. I'd be able to spot it from a mile away. Mr. Wright. You will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, is it the wrong gun? Maybe kind of. Can I not check the court record? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't check the court record. Oh, fuck. Uh, I guess I can go with the gun. Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I hardly. I'm not trying to understand. What about the shooter is strange? What? Wait. Look at the hand holding the pistol. So not... I saw the pistol and got excited. The hand holding the pistol. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. Oh... Prince from Edward's right hand, and he was holding it with his left. Fucking left-handed, unite. I thought the gun was going to be wrong, but okay, sick. Nailed it, 360 no scope. That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand, this man's left hand does what? Wouldn't know, because it's not Edgeworth's. Let me show you what that left hand does. I'll show you the evidence that left hand contradicts. Boop. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Now let him out so I can give him a big old kiss. Did we do it? Now that everyone in the court has quieted down, 
I would like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You have given us definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Oh, as we've seen, there are no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? Larry? I mean, it's obviously not Miss Hart or Larry, so the victim? There is only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, good. They'll never say it was me. You <laughs> see Larry just <laughs> rubbing his hands in the back menacingly. Good, good. The prosecution and defense attorneys in my pocket. Order, order. So you are saying that the victim committed that word I can't say on YouTube? Yes, Your Honor, I could think of no other explanation. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But that is out of the question. Well, what? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? And no matter the distance, I want you to know that deep down inside of me, you are... <laughs> the victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. Meter, I hardly. A meter? Meter, I hardly. That That's three feet. Who says feet? Aren't we in Japan? There is no way it could have been that. Order. Order. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? <sighs> Sorry. Of course! I had already considered the possibility of that, you see. Autopsy report updated in the court record. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. As this is the court of public opinion, is it not? Considering the situation the shooter had to be... Considering the situation the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Etchworth... However, the prints on the gun reveal that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the today. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. Mm, poo. That is all. The court is adjourned. Fuck yeah! In reality, we'd be done, because it's not our job to prove who did it, just that my client didn't. Right? Oh, unless Edgeworth's out of prison and the two of us are going to team up, hold hands, and save the day. Right? Wow, that was a close one. Hmm. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? What? What were you not... He, The judge literally just said, because of the prince, it literally can't be you. Bro, you can leave now. We can, we can go get a sandwich or coffee or meet at the top of the Empire State Building. The world's our oyster. Stay inside and Netflix and Bill. That's where you watch... That's where you watch Bill. And, you know... Make out? I don't know. No, I have yet to be declared innocent. Right? Well, yeah, but... What happened out there on, on that lake anyway? If he didn't commit that, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. Uh, what? What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. Do not give me that look. There's too many things going on for you to be giving me that look. I was just kidding around. Mm -mm. Look. I'm gonna go check on Maya. Oh. 
Right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Stay away from my man. <laughs> if you turn into Mia Fey in front of my boyfriend one more time. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Tell. Tell her to watch what she says in court. Come on, man. Don't be that hard of a Seto Kaiba. That's all. Would it kill you just to state how you really feel with a thanks, Edgeworth? Tell me how you really feel. I requisitioned a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition. Am 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 Why did I say that? Ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, you didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lana's deposition added to the court record. To be continued. Okay. Okay. Question. We've hit about the three hour mark. We just finished day... That was just day one. I'm assuming this is three full days of investigation, so... <clears throat> would it be smart to fill another hour of investigating or call it here so we can pick up fresh and finish everything on Monday? Because... I am i don't want to go over tonight. And I, I want to finish on Monday. Or Monday's stream will be the finale. So is this would this be considered the the halfway point, or would it make the would it make more sense to push through for another hour? Oh, now we're okay with Bill's choices. Um, thank you, but no one knows. I can check if it's halfway, but I think you're not halfway just yet. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind checking just real quick, because I'm like, I'm also worried if we were to do the investigation for day two and then pick up at the trial of day two, we're going to forget everything we learn in day two. Day one, trial, day two, inve investigation, day one, trial. Day two, investigation, day two, trial. Day four. There's a fourth day? Or is, or is that like the epilogue? I would suggest ending after investigation day two for an even split. Okay. You don't think it would be confusing to stop in the middle of the day and pick up at the... The trial? <laughs> the third trial, okay. Okay, so do the day two investigation. The tail end is longer than the front end, but just a little. Okay, so we'll do the investigate. That's a good point. If the the second half is longer, then yeah, let's do the investigation. Great, now we gotta get you out of jail again. Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's a relief. H hey, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I, I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. You're not a lawyer at all, Maya, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, legally I have to remind you that. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just 
behave from now on, okay? Uh, okay. Is she stuck in here? Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Whew. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Uh-huh, how much? I don't know. I guess I'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Because we live in a society. Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Uh, she sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Oh, damn. I didn't think of it like that. Well, if you want to help Maya get out of jail, donate. Become a member. We're fundraising right now to bail her out. Okay, so she's just kind of stuck there for a little bit. That's good. Right, Nico? I am alone. Yeah, I didn't think of it as, now I can't see my sister. So she needs to train. Sure is quiet here with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Well, what else was I supposed to... <laughs> take that! Take that! Take that! <laughs> just throwing money until they let her go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we talked. Oh, criminal affairs department, maybe? Detective Gumshoe's not here. Gumshoe's at the scene again. Gumshoe's at the scene again today! Huh? Oh, really? He's alive, Wyatt Ab one Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol! Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Uh, Gord Lake, please. There are fewer there are fewer than there were yesterday. Oh. There were there were fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gunshoe's here today. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keonse. Uh, Woods. Ah! There he is. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today, it I... Yeah? What about the trial? Well, well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to say thank you. Y you know? Uh, thanks? Get my other fuck out of there. Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right. He said something about that in the... Oh, oh right. He said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses, 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 witnesses. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? S sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of... Earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hatting crime the way he does. And him becoming a prosecutor to her. And him being as scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yup. That's the one. 15 years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very ease, he still feels the pain now. You can see it in his ease. I wanted to talk to you about 
Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strong, eh? I told him to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. By the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. And it definitely wasn't when he was staring at you, Phoenix. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth. Last time I saw his lip tremble it was junior year of college. <laughs> he was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm going to head back to the Statian. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out there as out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um I was wondering how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is oh my king. That filled my heart with joy. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. All right, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? I'd like to repay my husband, Miles Edgeworth, in some way for his financial gift. Consider donating or buying some merch at thethirdbuild.com or becoming a member, and I'll give that money to Edgeworth. <laughs> uh, but for real, make sure you click on the buttons. Donate if you can. Okay, maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent to Phoenix. The solution to, to not having to deal with rent anymore is to move in with Edgeworth when you're ready. Uh... Can she just meet me here? Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Phoenix. Phoenix. Really? Phoenix. Right. Phoenix. Right. Anyway. Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, but what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Uh, oh, that reminds me of what I really am. Never made it as a wise man. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I Oh... If this is what gets her to, like, summon her sister, like, I, I might cry. And that is the weirdest feeling, because this game is so bizarre. But I love it so much. I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Like, just thinking about that, like, made my eyes a little wet. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. My shoulder is pinching... Okay, good. I'm like, did I miss a step? She's outside now. We nailed it. 360 no scope. Speed run still on. No damage. No death. World record. All percent. Uh, there aren't there aren't many cops around today, are there? Oh. They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Eh. Uh, hey, y'all. Hey, it's Lotta. Y'all really did it today. Oh, what did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking, a little self-reflecting, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So you see, I wanted to make it up to y'all. Make it up? What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was, uh, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see any tin. Any tin. 
Uh, I kind of convinced myself I had, though. <laughs> you know what they say about us girl bosses always gaslighting. <laughs> I'm the kind of girl boss that gaslit herself. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I know I caused a lot of. I, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Oh, please tell me you're in a different case. Right. You mean the first time you witness? So, anyway. Gordy. <laughs> what about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to stardom. All right, Lada, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. <laughs> Commit. Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That, uh, Von Kama didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon he might be able to, we might be able to do ourselves a little equivalent exchange. Give me your arm <laughs> and your mother. Mother. Give me your mom and, <laughs> and your arm. E e exchange? Uh... I thought this was to make it up to use. Right. I propose a little equivalent exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh. Hey. I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. Well, as we say in <laughs> Brooklyn, <laughs> go cowboys. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most Southerners are way more sophisticated than use. Why, I know a guy. I know a guy in a uh, Midtown that'll uh, sophisticate the socks off you. Midtown Dallas, of course. Well, what'll it be? We got a deal or not? What, what do we do, Nick? Deal. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen, good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. W what? Gordy? But, but Gordy doesn't mean I... Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Great, we're gonna destroy a woman's dreams today. I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first, got it? Uh, okay, right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? What if they're the same, Nick? We'll bring Gordy to Edgeworth. He'll be your he'll be your pet. I'll be your daughter. You're my two dads, and Gordy'll be our dog. Think of the fan art, and the third bill is there too. Or the family is watching his content together. We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. How exactly do we search for a make believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. Boop. Oh my God. Is it the Steel Samurai? What's that? The hey! Remember the good old days? The Steel Samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it was my girl Keonse's idea. She was all, if you like put this here, it would be like really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow, that's real impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. That show's finished now, so she got it free. Right. <laughs> What's on his shirt? Yo, 
Nick! What happened with Edgy? Well, he made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh? Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? Yeah, it's, it's Nick, right? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Maya, are you shaming a man with trauma? Huh? Oh, do you miss your sister? You like when I do that? What the fuck? Maya. Go fucking find a waterfall. Use surf or waterfall or some shit. Huh? That's weird. I don't think it was ever like that in school. Something traumatic must have happened to him. Maybe we shouldn't make fun of him. No, really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred... Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Ugh. Hey, Larry. When did you get that big, uh... Thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month. Yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. The thumbs up and the sweating freaks me out. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, oh right. The, the, the compressor was busted. Compressor? I hardly... Not now, Maya. You just dissed a man with trauma. Yeah. It was that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the steel samurai. It broke a little while ago. So I sent it in for repairs. Oh, and here I thought you inflated it by yourself. Doesn't that steel samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising. Something about this steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh, really? Looks... Pretty well made to me. Eh, still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These Steel Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. What's this machine? That? That's a compressor. I use it to fill the balloon with air with air. Neat. Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Yesterday. Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I am a merely a seller of hot dogs. All right. Something tells me that it went off around midnight. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. Yeah, I get it. But, okay. Small boat, we went to shop. It's not like anyone's around. Probably closed because of the murder. Okay, so nothing, nothing has changed. Uh, hey, y'all! Well, you find anything about Gordy? Uh, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. I I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa! No, you don't! No sneezing! Wahahachu! Oh. Wow, it's pretty sensitive. Look. I told y'all, no sneezing! See, I, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. I, it'd trigger on one of it'd trigger on one of them von Kama's finger snaps now. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's nice, but what about my film, Nick? Hey, the lady. <laughs> I learned I learned something in today's trial. That's for sure. 
Testifying is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on for the dirt on Gordy. I'm trading here. What are you gonna do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. A it was a UFO. A UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student. Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. I'm breaking here. But did that not? That yeah, we did this. But the check mark didn't show up. Or it won't ever. Okay. Modest camera is staring at Blake as usual. Even a novice like me can tell those pretty penny. I'm gonna take this camera. Be a shame if someone took it. No. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. There we go. I was like, come on. If, if I'm not getting any other opportunities to talk, Larry has to know something. Especially with the... I'm sure the machine broke or backfired, and that's important. Uh, that's the guy that's selling my... That's the guy that's selling my dogs faster than I can cook them. Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think somebody probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. Would all keep suits? Yeah, he's involved somehow. He'd be totally a believer. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs till the truth's out. Damn it. Man, he doesn't know shit. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. All right, well, fuck me. I thought Larry would know something about Gordy. Okay, well. My bad. Looks like Edgeworth isn't questioning. Let's come back later. I'd like to watch some criminals have affairs. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything besides money, that is. How is the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the Lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case, Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag this out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Locke? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eh. You got time to go wild monster hunting? Fair enough. How about you do a little questioning for me then? Uh, oh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. Oh. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. Did we legitimately just do his job for him for a couple of hours? I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Oh, we filled him in. Okay. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? Team up. 
I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding Abidense. Really? Wait, what? You can take whichever one you like. Give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number. Give me missiles? He's a K. Oh, he's a puppy! I want the puppy. He's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile, missile, your boy. Oh! I'm taking him home! Here he is. He's cute. Look, Nick, cute dog. Cute dog. This will help us. How? Woof. Next secret weapon number two: a fishing pole. What? This is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe. We're looking for a monster. <laughs> yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please. I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. <laughs> right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? You never know. It might have... It might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um... I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either. For the totally opposite reason. Oh, well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Missile! Can we borrow a missile? Sure thing, pal. Be good to him. Woof! Woof! He's so cute! Oh, boy. Missile borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. Do I need them all? Oh, I... Literally can't. Breaks, be sure to dispose of it. Will I need them all, or is there one I can skip? Hunting for a monster, anything is possible. Yay, I got a trophy. Anyway. Does it matter which should I take the fishing pole then or the metal detector? So I'm assuming I just take it to the boats. Like nothing else has worked here. Take my fishing pole. You know you, yeah, you know you can't catch many fish in this lake. I'm not after small fry. I'm after the biggest fry of them all. Gordy. Mm. You really gonna try to fish out a monster? To save Edgeworth? Yes. Mm. Brings a tear to my eye in more ways than one. Okay. Did I already screw this up? Should I be getting the metal detector instead? Okay, Nick, this looks like a good spot. A good spot? For what? Time to do some fishing! She's serious. Uh, what are you gonna use for bait? Uh oh. Yeah, oh. Uh, I figured something like this would. I figured something like this would happen. We should have brought missile along with us, too. At least then we'd have bait. Be Nick's right to. Nick, how could you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
Some jokes are better left untold. Anyway, where's Miles? I want to make fun of his aversion to earthquakes. Oh, she hit me, and you deserve it. Watch this, Nick. Just try not to reel in any empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go! Huh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, Lotta. Don't tell me y'all are on some film company... Don't tell me y'all are on some film company's payroll. Nick, pay her. My <laughs> poor, poor wallet. Lot of weight for catching Gordy. A fishing pole? Are you out of your doggone mind? Yeah, I mean, yes, it's a fishing pole. Eh, I never thought of that. Good luck. Thanks. I don't believe it. So, there's nothing to do with, for the fishing pole? Is there nothing to do with the fishing pole? Like, why would you do this to me? <sighs> Jesus. Metal detector. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to use it at the beach. At the boat rental shop. There we go. Oh, that's awful. Uh, Nick, it's beeping. The metal detector found something. Sure is loud enough. Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Because I only have one suit. Nick. Look. Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second... Why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Uh, huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It's several flags? It looks like a string of flags? But well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Air tank of dubious value retrieved. I think I know. Yep. Hey man, nice flags. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to I wanted to ask you about this tank. Have you seen this before? Huh? Me? N no, never! Who the heck would go diving in the middle of the winter? There's something about the way his eye twitched when I showed him the tank. I think I'd better pursue this line of questioning a little further. What? Well, what? An air tank? What about it, Larry? Uh, is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Well, why would I have a thing like that? I can already breathe air, see? <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags. All right, it's your samurai there. <laughs> Must be a coincidence. The strings of flag. There's <laughs> kids these days. <laughs> the strings of there. There are there are. Is that how you would? I guess there are strings of flags everywhere these days. What? 
like like elementary schools and, and used car dealerships. Look, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Uh, inflate what? What else? The big puffy steel samurai. What? Why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right. Right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always use was on the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. And uh, it, it didn't... <coughs> it didn't go so well. As I suspect... As, uh, as I suspected. Um... Ask more about the tank. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah! Do you think you could be a little more specific? Uh, come on! Look, it's embarrassing, so I, I, re I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us! Tell us! Mm, fine. Whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and I tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... Blam! Valve busted open and made this incredible noise at 1215. <laughs> and that tank and and that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off in a gourd lake? Sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. <laughs> Pun. There we go. Um, so the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away? What happened next? Well, all that happened on the... Oh. All that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th? A week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. And then I shot a man! Did he? I mean, Keonse gave me that, that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Oh my God, Larry killed a guy. Sorry for, sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. Like a good little owl. So you didn't know about what happened? No. Th that's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. A mystery maybe we should go tell her god his serious face is jarring what's changed jesse we're still gonna cook uh woods and this is gordy uh i say no exactly what Um, uh, you know, I was wondering. Yeah? What if you get a picture of Gordy and it turns out like, it turns out like this enlargement did? Y'all, y'all crazy. A blurry picture like this doesn't make a hit story. I need a picture that screams, I'm Gordy, hear me roar. I can't turn something like this into the paper. What kind of fool do you think? Wait, oh, did I show the wrong thing? What? No, this is the article. What? What am I missing here? I'm... This is getting really annoying. Yeah, we proved Gordy isn't real. Let me... Talk? There we go. Jesus Christ. Like, it's just so annoying. Like, we really need to show this evidence. So I'm like, okay, take that. No, nope, you really need to hit the talk button. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all. I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? Gordy doesn't exist. Lotta. There's no such thing as Gordy. What? 
How can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist. That proof, the proof that Gordy don't exist is here. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Sorry, I got swept away in the moment. I was doing too much hooty voice. Fucking in your face. Boom. Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me. What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. Anime glasses push. Light flashes over my glasses. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. He used his air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? <laughs> it looks so silly. The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. With a keen eye for details, only one truth prevails. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the Steel Samurai? The music shift. Well, well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lada. Nah, it's okay, you win. I'll give you info like I promised. Poor Lada. Gimme. So tell us this information you have. Eh, a promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying uh, something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah. The night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Should have clicked three times. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, uh... Yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the lake. Figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but yeah, take it. Second lake photo. Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. And, uh, if you ever in the neighborhood, in the deep south, I'll, uh, I'll make you a, uh, a, a south-style pizza. It's like Mama used to make. <laughs> Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Eh. Someone should whiz that butt, whip that butt into shape. I'm gonna forget you said that. Hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to any blah, blah, blah. doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. All oh, right. Can I move now? I could go inside this whole time. Parrot. Oh my God! It's Margaritaville. Ah! <laughs> Meg, that you? Yeah. Hey, is that Keith? Keith. Keith with you! Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. My voice is too tired to do my old man voice very well. D Nick, you handle this. I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! I yes? Finally. Made it up made up your mind, have you? M my mind? You you run the pasta shop, but I'm gone. Pasta? I'm glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. 
When you kids left the house, I didn't, I don't, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running, an old man like me? Polly, the kids are home. Hello. Hello. Squawk. Nick, what was that? A parrot? The one on that perch. Keith! Y yes I leave the wet noodle in your capable end, Sonny. Nick, what's the wet noodle? You, nerd, go along with the bit. Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello. Hello. Squawk. Yep. Meh. He fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. <laughs> the pasta restaurant. Uh, um, a pasta shop? Yep, think. Wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know, so that makes two the third. That makes you two the third generation. Meg. Yes. Tomorrow we'll start with the secret of dough tossing. Dough tossing? You too, Keith. Uh, yes. You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg! Yes. You know the best pasta soy's been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course, everybody. How's that? Nick. Huh? How long do we have to wait to keep this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Me. The snot animation. And then, like, the carnival. Uh, like, I feel like I should be shooting water in his mouth. It's getting annoying. Uh, this is a boat rental shop. Right? What are you talking about? This is the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. No, I don't mention it. May have gotten, haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters, darned if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. This old man's the witness tomorrow, right? I've gotta find some way of getting information out of him. Cookies! Oh, I thought it was a gun. It's a fishing pole. Look, a little safe. Hmm. It's locked. This fishing pole looks expensive. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. It looks warm. It's a good idea. We should do that at the office. We could sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa, and talk about what? Murders? You're a party pooper, Nick. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello. Hmm. Ignored me. Meh. What, you forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly. How you been? Hello. Hello. Squawk. See? Neat. So the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added to the... Oh, fuck. That's gonna come up at some point. One of the mysterious sounds. One of the gunshots was the parrot imitating it. Too bad all she could say is hello. Hey, hey. Old Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. Secret words? Polly, Polly, what's your name? Paul. Lee. Squawk. Hehe, <laughs> cute. Maya's found the new friend. Z, 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 z. Ah, uh, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Polly, who's the murderer? <laughs> Me. Everything important? I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Squawk. All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will you? Hehe. <laughs> Scenic. 
All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. So can I... Oh, oh. Look, a little safe. It's locked. But we know the... Okay. Uh, Polly. Do I have to bring him the dog? Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our uh, rainbow lioli. I figure our last color we should use. Ham lindigo blue. Ham lindigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Do I? I'm an attorney. Z, Z, Z. This is annoying. This is annoying. That's a lawyer's badge. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. Hey, get it. Huh? Yep. Got you figured out now. You're not Keith! Nah, oh, fuck. Nick, now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. Common misconception. It's the glasses. And the fact that I'm amazing. Uh, anyway, I'm 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 not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Me, hey, lawyer, hey. Please, Mister. All right, that'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll kill me. Uh. Promise to run the noodle. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? A anything to get this case solved. You don't understand how many dreams I've had of me and Edgeworth quitting the law to run a pasta shop together. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? Ooh. It'd be Wright noodles, you idiot. Phoenix Wright is a buffoon. I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, didn't I just say, you too, Meg? Yes. Hehe, <laughs> you bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, what was that you wanted to speak up, Polly? Hello, hello, Squawk. Eh, now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Do all old people recognize each other? Is that rude? Autopsy. Z, Z, Z. That's so annoying. Move. Z, Z, Z. Did you see this murder? Yep. Has, oh, fuck. I seen this. You seen? You know something about this, sir? Keith. Yes. It's okay. You can call me dad. Dad? You know something about this? Yep. The other night, down the lake. Yes, yes. I knew all about that. Seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Didn't you take it over the shop at all? Oh, fuck yeah. There we go. I forgot. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yep. It was after midnight, but in my wildest fantasies. But, okay. Then I heard this bang, so I went outside. Now another one, bang. That's two total. Write that down, Keith. Oh, damn. A little while later, this boat comes back. The young, that a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself, yep. What did he say? Yep. Man, I forgot. I remember tomorrow by court time, promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Meh. Little, little Terry was just here. Terry? Yep. Kid next door, you always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out his face. Oh, he 
must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't for- oh, fuck. Don't forget DL6. Squawk. Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6. Squawk. What? The DL6 incident? Hey, Miss- uh, Dad. Maybe. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? He's Edgeworth's father. That was cool. Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh, what? He locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Fucking out of here, beach nerds. I'm having an affair with a criminal. <clears throat> oh, man. Hey, pal. Long time no see. <coughs> oh, God. You don't look so happy. What's wrong, gay? This team A. Actually, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, yeah? You know the boat rental shop? Down at Gord Lake. Oh yeah, the old uh, the old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Uh huh. How'd you? Mm, that was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? <sighs> Getting gunky. Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I've been able to get a Stragit to answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm, sounds suspicious. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current Kase. To tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbid us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me we... S Somehow, the DL6 incident is related to this case. Well, I guess I'd consider opening the filet up. Uh, the fucking bird. What's that, a Perot? The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. The incident? DL6. What? Polly Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk. Don't forget DL6. Squawk. But what? That's fucking crazy. Why? Did the old man see it? Pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 in said end? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you, you think he might be? <laughs> I get ya. Sounds I was really hoping for something bigger than that. Sounds like you need Informatian on the DL6 incident. Through there is the Stashian's records room. I'll give you special premisen to go in and find what you need. All right, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. Guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. 
This is happening too smoothly. Wow, it's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and or ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6. Let's find the DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, oh, thanks. Just let me know what you what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Give me everything, por favor. Uh, well, first, I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary? Right. Summary, summary, found it. Here you go. Oh, excuse me. December 28, 2001. Wait. 2000, does this take place in 2016? That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. Only one truth prevails. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Wow. That was some earthquake. Oh my god. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. This would be... That would be scary like that, in the dark. Maybe you shouldn't make fun of Edgeworth. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. And you're to blame. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? Alright, so whoever killed Mr. Edgeworth's... Uh, whoever killed Edgeworth's dad killed this person too, because they're both shot in the heart. And they're to blame. They give love a bad name. Bon Jovi taught me all I needed to know about solving murders. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. Jesus. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the passengers in... So the, so the earthquake and watching his father die happened at once. No wonder he has such a big response to that. It's one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do you have data on the victim? Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Found it! I see where Edgeworth got it. Holy shit. Uh, Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. I know it's whatever order you put it in, but that's silly. <clears throat> From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been that. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh. Sounds like this current case... What's going on here? Yeah, see? It's someone who has a problem with Edgeworth's family. Like, I'm going to shoot the father and the son in the heart, or I'm going to frame the son, I guess. Got any data on the suspect in there? Uh, that would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was... I read that as Yami Yugi for a second. Yanni Yogi? He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond. 
The victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. The oxygen deprived so much, so he had brain, brain, so much, so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Maybe closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? I'm just going to tell myself that's the whole file. Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Okay. To be continued. Save so your progress up to this point? Yes, very much. Okay, well, we only went a couple minutes over the normal time limit, but okay, so we're about at the halfway point, right? Because there's two more trials and an investigation. Oh, man. Okay. I'm, I'm incredibly confused. Ow, that hurt. I'm incredibly confused about just about everything in the DL6 incident. Um, but I, I'm assuming the last couple pieces we're going to need to start figuring all this out is going to be um, at the end of the, like, the next investigation, essentially. Because, I don't know, it, excuse me. This was definitely the right one to have, like, a, a quintessential character. Um, is struggling the right word? Like, being associated with this, I guess. Um, I, I'm interested how the DL6 incident is going to connect. Because um, there's, like, a whole conspiracy behind it, right? Because, like... Mr. White or whatever was like involved with like blackmailing people over it. It it affects like all the characters and like the the incident itself is the elevator moment. Right? Cuz I thought the idea at first was Edgeworth's dad was working the DL6 incident and then died in the elevator. The DL6 incident is the elevator. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess the only thing I could really surmise is whoever killed Edgeworth's dad is the person who is framing Edgeworth right now and killed this victim. Because, I don't know, I think it's just, that or it's just really lazy and considering how far out the game has been. I feel like it's anything but lazy. So it feels like an intentional choice to go shot in the heart twice. Um, I think that's a little clue. That's just me. Um, but, uh, I don't know. It's, it's still like, it's super fun. I, I, it's just every once in a while, like in the investigation, it's like, do I, do I hand you something? Do I talk to you? Which room do I go to? And I love when the story gets more complicated. It's just every once in a while, the gameplay kind of stumbles the more complicated uh, the narrative is getting. Getting getting Maya out on bail, um, it, figuring out the truth about Gordy, telling Lada about Gordy, and then, okay, now you can go to the to the boat rental store to talk to the person inside of it 
which turned out to be the old man. And I'm like, why did I need someone's permission to knock on the door? But then talking to the old man, I'm like, cool, you're definitely going to be important. Um, yeah, not always intuitive. Haley put it really well, yeah. It just, it just doesn't always make sense. And it's, it's kind of the same thing in the investigate in the court sometimes too, where I'm like, I, the picture, uh, the, the gunshots and it's like, you, you needed to press them several times. So, so Von Karma and the judge can yell at you a bit at more before you start the actual objecting. And it's like, okay. Like sometimes it's like a little extra steps, uh, mechanically. And it's only, fr it's only a little annoying it's only frustrating because I'm like, let's go. Like, give me the information. Am I right in my assumption? Am I wrong? Like, it's very easy to get invested in this. See if my theories are panning out. Am I on the right track? Like, you want to win, right? You want to you wanna do well. You want to progress the story. And the more investing, the more interesting and invested I get in this, the more, the more annoying that that feeling is. So it's like, it's bumpy, but it's hardly anything... I would categorize as bad. It's just clunky. Um, but it's also, it's the first one of a series. So I like, I like to hope that by two or three, they like really kind of nailed the, the flow a little bit. Cause when it's like cooking and, and like everything's intuitive, it's, it's really cooking. Like, yeah, we got to go here and talk about that. Ooh, I got this evidence updated. Ooh, I'm going to hand it to them. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do this. Like it falls into place. And then it's that clunky. Okay. I have this information and I have to give it to this person. Do I present the evidence? Do I talk to you as a focal point? Do I have to make sure like I go to the detention center, talk to my client and then go back to talk to the person? Like it gets a little, a little confusing at times, but beyond that, like it's super cool. I, you definitely needed a new prosecutor to show up when Edgeworth gets, um, I guess, arrested or detained. Um, I, I'm i hoping I'll understand him by the end of this. I kind of wish... I guess it, it wouldn't complete his backstory of he's never lost a case, which he's gonna on Monday. Like and subscribe. Donate if you can. Become a member. Um... But, like, I wish he had been in, like, in the tutorial in some way. Or if he, like, was going to represent somebody. Like, it's weird that he just kind of popped in out of nowhere. But maybe it'll make sense. Maybe you just need it. Because, like, he has a history with he Edgeworth. I think they both wear, like, ascots. So he's supposed to be, like, Edgeworth times 10. I wish there was a little bit of, like, build up to him. But what could you really do feasibly? Excuse me. Well, yeah, it, everything will make sense when I finish the game, I hope. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, when he showed up, like, it was just kind of like, I kind of wish, I kind of wish you showed up, you know? Like, I, I wish there was, like, build up to him or something. Or, like, I was kind of hoping we'd run into him, you know, like, looking at reports or talking to Gumshoe. Like, I hope his character gets a little bit more time. That's just me, though. Because um, it works. Honestly, if they were like, imagine Edgeworth times 10. It's like, yeah, if I look at him, it's, okay, this is Edgeworth if Phoenix Wright never showed up to, like, you know, destroy his uh, perfect record and show him that this is about truth and justice and not being the best like no one ever was um the issues you've raised recently clear up in later games that's good yeah and that's the other thing too is it's also it's establishing world and i think i think it's just the hole you kind of dig yourself in when both edgeworth and now von karma have the perfect attendance record like no one's ever beaten me before so you couldn't have faced against edgeworth in the tutorial you couldn't have faced against Von Karma in the tutorial. You need to win these. Or you could have scripted it out as uh, it's Von Karma. It's your first case. And like, yeah, you lost, but like you stood your own 
and got like a mistrial or something against Von Karma or whatever. It would have been cool to have seen him sooner. But when both when both characters have to have like perfect records when they meet you, it's like, okay, so there's no, it wouldn't fit to have you like face off against Von Karma in the tutorial like prologue level with Mia and then it's like well now that she's not here I'm coming back for my revenge and I also am you know my my student was is being accused of murder so obviously I have to I have to deal with that um so I don't know dude is just I wish we had talked about him before but I don't know um because other than the fact that he wears an ascot and has like a scary voice which i i wish i could hear that coming out of a ds that had to have been crunchy as fuck but it still works just fine i think so far anyway at least i think what happened to edgeworth and clearing his name and then the connection edgeworth and maya's mom have and the dl6 incident I think that stuff is way more interesting and way more personal than Von Karma, that by the time this is done, Von Karma's character will have been around longer, if that makes sense. Um, The focus is less on him and more on clearing Edgeworth's name. How is Maya's family involved in this? What's the backstory here? So, um, is what it is. I'm just like, eh. It's also weird that he has, like, the same essential, like, build-up as Edgeworth, just with more time to have a perfect record. Like, he's never lost a case before. And I'm like, the last guy who showed up in an ascot who said he's never lost a case lost a case to me promptly. <laughs> I, I am the annihilator of ascots. <laughs> um, I'm super excited to finish uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney on Monday. Um, I hope you guys are too. This has been a lot of fun. Um, definitely something like super different than anything I've really done before. Like sure, the visual novel is some mystery to it, but like, I don't know. It's pretty unique. Um, and I guess, I guess the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog is the closest. Um, I've been really enjoying it. So, I don't know. If people are still clicking and liking, donating members and subscribing, um, then we'll do uh, we'll do two and three later. Um, but we're going to finish uh, the first one on Monday. And then this time next week, next Thursday, we'll be starting uh, Spooky Season. I'm a big horror fan. And I wish everybody loved horror games as much as me. And th- there's not an infinite supply of them anyway. Um, but, uh, September, October, and then kind of wrapping things up, uh, early November. Um, I like doing like fall and horror and scary games and stuff. Um, so we'll be starting that this time next week with inscription and then lies of P and then hopefully, um, I'll have a good handle on some horror games, um, for the rest of September and October. Um, which is weird to say, but, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. And yeah, like I said, if these, these streams, you know, people seem into them and likes, comments, donations, sharing of the links, subscribing to the channel, ringing the bell, becoming a member, all that good stuff. Um, high numbers of those positive, good supporting things, uh, will definitely let me know to do more. Um, speaking of donations and memberships and all that good stuff, uh, thank you to, um, Jojo and bookworm for becoming members. And then it's not, I, there's no way for me to track it like I can with the donations. So I'm just going to say thank you for gifting the subs or gifting the members. Yeah. Gifting the memberships. Um, but there's no way for me to track it. I just remember that obviously from earlier so thank you for that and then thank you bookworm um for the five thank you comfy for the two and Haley for the two um again that that money goes towards uh paying for games paying off equipment and um paying some of uh bills bills all very important things every dollar helps please donate or become a member if you can 
Or if you want some merch, you can check out thethirdbill.com. Or you can also donate there if you don't want to do it in the stream. Um, it's not by a large amount, but I do get a bigger percentage of donations at thethirdbill.com than I do YouTube. But it's YouTube. It's accessibility. Um, we love you, Google. We love you, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. Should I be using the community tab more for like the schedule or should I keep people guessing? But, uh, Monday we'll be finishing, um, Phoenix Ace attorney. And then next Thursday we'll be starting inscription. And then by the time we're done with inscription, Liza P will be out and we'll be doing that. And, um, yeah, I'll be talking to the members about, um, ideas I have for horror games and some, I and some thoughts like, the members might have for po for potential horror games for uh for the spooky fall season um so yeah consider becoming a member not only does it help me out you get like custom emojis and stuff but like you get to join in on the discussions for like um you know game ideas and stuff like that like ultimately like i still i have a say um but the conversations are a lot easier a lot longer um but uh yeah it's just nice um and yeah I'm, I'm also looking at some other things that will probably fall under member perks like i'm trying to figure out how to like stream like the video game awards and stuff like that and i'm like you know that might be a fun like members only stream kind of thing to do if i can figure out how to do that because i'm like how do i do this without getting yelled at or getting in trouble do i have to contact them or whatever um but that something like that might be cool. I'm trying to look into things like that. More one off -y kind of streams. Um, like uh, watching award shows and things like that might be kind of fun. And if I get the handle of that, then maybe we'll do it for like um, showcases and directs and things like that. That might be kind of fun. Um, so consider becoming a member. If you know anything about that, let me know. Um, but yeah. God, I'm tired. Uh, these are super fun, but yeah, the voices take it out of me after take I like, take a lot out of me after like four hours, or five or six. Um, no, I know people do it. I'm just like, do they? If it even is as simple as click this thing, and then it's like, yeah, you can do it without getting in trouble. Like I just I don't know. Um, and then lot like then logistically how to do it. Like, do I just? record my screen and then share that like i just need to figure it out um because also like youtube's just like it can get a little strange um and i just want to traverse it in a way to where like i don't get in trouble and people forget that kind of stuff a lot like uh, why are you censoring your swears because uh, youtube man i gotta try something um so uh, things like that but uh anyway um yeah we'll be finishing phoenix Wright ace attorney on monday i'm hoping to get a main channel video up uh this weekend um my schedule got kind of thrown off and um a wasp flew into my kitchen this afternoon so i had to take care of that that was frightening um but i'm gonna rest my voice um and yeah i'm hoping to get a, a good video at least one ideally two up between now and Monday, Tuesday, because the holiday weekend and stuff. I've just been working on a bunch of things and schedule's been all over the place and it kind of got thrown off recently and my allergies are really bad and I, I keep waking up and I'm like, am I sick? Am I the sick or is this allergies? What do I do? Hot shower and some water later and I'm usually fine, but it, it adds a little bit to my routine or I have to stop in the middle of the day and take another hot shower because my face is plugged. Um, it's just kind of throwing me off. Um, but uh, especially when I have to like film myself and everything. Um, it's it's like the silliest, dumbest problem. But it's like yeah, I start to get a little emotional maybe. Like some tears are happening. And then they're just stuck in my eye because my eyes have also been like swollen. Like not swollen, but like a little puffy and itchy all day. And I'm like, great. This hurts. And I can already feel someone commenting, uh, you didn't cry enough for me in this video. And I'm like, that's not the goal. And that's shitty. And also, okay, like, sorry, I don't angle all the lighting and put everything just right so you could see my tears. The point is to, to 
enjoy the thing, talk about it, review it, and have fun. So then I just get in my head. But uh, extra hot showers tend to help with that. So pro tip to anyone who's also been experiencing annoying eye things, don't touch your eyes. Take an extra hot shower. Even in the summertime, it just hot shower, a couple minutes, flushes you right out. I'm not a doctor. It just works for my body. (laughs) I hate that I have to specify that. Um, Anyway, remember to like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, check the settings, set them to all. Uh, Please consider donating or becoming a member. Um, That's a really big way to help support me. Um, If you don't want to donate or you can't right now, don't worry. Uh, You're already helping out by hanging out. Just make sure you're clicking all those buttons, leaving comments, words of encouragement, sharing links, following me on social medias, liking the posts, watching the things, watching things related to the things you want. Um, Those are big indicators to show me to keep going, Um, as well as following me on social media and all that stuff, because social media sucks and I don't like it, but I got to do it. So I'm trying my best. So. Every time you click the like, we're not married forever. It's just, haha, thanks, Bill. It, it, it encourages me to keep posting shit. Click on things. It, 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 it means the world to me. Make sure you're clicking on the shit. Uh, there's tons of free ways to support me. Clicking, sharing, liking, commenting. Those are all free. Or donate and become a member and still click all those things. <laughs> um. Anyway, thank you again to the channel members. Thank you again to everyone uh, who donated. Thank you again. Um, I keep wanting to say Fern Book. Bookworm. Uh, Thank you for the members. Um, And yeah, thank you, Alana, for modding. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Go drink some water, guys. Remember, just like always, just like every... uh, Every video and every stream, there's a link in the description to a card. They'll send you the resources for social awareness, education, mental health, crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them. Um, Hope everyone's staying safe. Um, Hope to see you next time I upload or go live. Um, Yeah. Uh, Be safe. Be mindful of others. Wear a mask if you go out. And remember to take care of yourselves, please.